Hello guys, today I want to tell about upsets in Laravel. In Laravel Eloquent, absurd feature was released in Laravel 8.10 and I want to discuss how people did the same situation before 8.10 and also discuss why absurd may be better and what is the syntax. And this is so interesting. This video is compiled from a lot of you guys. It's based on a tweet by Martin who tweeted about absurd and this is the syntax from the Laravel docs. Then I retweeted that tweet, but this video idea came from the replies on my tweet where a lot of people noted that absurd is actually making fewer queries to the database. So how it all works, I decided to explain step by step. So here's a typical scenario. You have a form with multiple fields. For example, you want to assign points to users. So you have users list. The points is in a separate database table and you need to do for each of those points, it's an array of user ID key. So in the blade, we have something like this. All of them are type number and it's all points user ID. And in the database, they should be saved in the points database table with user ID and points. In the beginning, there are no points, no records, so you need to create them. But each time you want to update the points, something needs to be checked. So for each of the user, if the points exist, we update them, otherwise we create that record. So how to deal with that in Laravel? There are a few ways. The long way, then shorter eloquent way, and then absurd way. Let me show you all three of them. So here's the update method, the old school typical for each way of dealing with that situation. You do for each of the points array, then you check if the point record exists. If it does exist, then you update the points. If not, you create that. So it's all readable and it all works. But in Laravel, there's a shorter way how to shorten this inside of the for each into one eloquent statement. There's a function called update or create. So instead of all of those, we can do one liner, update or create, and it has two parameters, what to search by, so mimicking this where statement, and what fields to update. In our case, it's points, this one. So it will perform exactly the same thing. So let's try it out actually. So let's comment that out, update or create. And if we try to fill in the form, so the first time, let it be one, two, and three, we save the points. Success is just a blank page. We go back, we refresh, the values are here and in the database, if we refresh the points table, one, two, and three are saved. But for example, let's imagine that three doesn't exist. We delete that and then we save it again. Save the points, success. What happens now in the database, that third line is inserted and the first two lines are not changed. But another scenario, let's delete that again and let's change that to four, for example, which means change the value, save points and refresh. And as you can see, that line has been updated. So updated at is different and points four. So this is what is done by update or create, but there are two queries for each of the points, for each of the array item. And I installed Laravel debug bar at the bottom. So here's how many queries we have. Let's zoom it in a bit. And the queries are here. So select from points by user ID. There will be three selects at least, one for each user basically. And then if we do need to update or insert, then there will be update or insert by individual record. So in this case, we have six queries. Well, five because this is under auth, so this doesn't count. So five queries to the database. And if we had, for example, 10 users, there will be dozens of queries to the database. So that's not an ideal scenario. It would work, but we can do it better. And this is where we get to the original tweet to the absurd method. It was submitted in Laravel 8.10 by a guy named Paras Malhotra. I hope I pronounced it correctly. So this is the GitHub. And by the way, shout out to a tool released by Paris as well. So as a thank you note for his release of Laravel core function, let's advertise his premium product and lighten and have a separate review of that. So you can watch the video review of the tool that would auto check a lot of things in your Laravel project. So Paras submitted that absurd method and in my tweet I claimed it that it's not very readable. At least to me personally, what are the parameters? What do they all mean? But if you think about it, it's logical. First, you have all the array. So in our case, all the points as they should be in the database. So we would need to transform the original array and I'll show you that in a minute. Then the second array would be the fields that uniquely identify the record. In our case, it's user ID. And then the third array, which fields to update or insert. 
in case of record being changed. So here's how it looks in our case, in our code. So instead of doing update or create for each of the records, we go outside of the loop and perform one absurd for all the requests. So here it is. As I mentioned, the array of data and we transform that, then the key of unique record, so what to update by and what to update with. So the points would be the values to update. And that points array needs to be in a specific structure. So each points array item should be exactly as the database row. So we transform the initial request points. It cannot be just key and value of user ID and points. So I did good alt for each. Maybe there's a shorter way to do that with collections or something like that. So if you know a better way, shoot in the comments below the suggestion. I just transform it to user ID and points. And just in case I made it an integer because I saw it's coming as a string. Maybe it was not needed, I'm not sure. And now let's try it out. Let's comment this out and let's see the database query. So we have our form, I've zoomed it in and let's change this to two, for example, this to five and this leave as three with save points and see the queries. How many queries do you see? One for the auth and then there's only one query for everything. Insert with values array and then the SQL takes care of all the duplications on duplicate key update. This is how absurd works under the hood. Now important thing is how my SQL knows that it needs to check by user ID. On duplicate key means that the fields in the database table should be unique. So for it to work, you need to specify the unique fields. So user ID should be in the migration. If we open the migration points unique here, then MySQL is saving that as a unique key and then uses that key in the duplicate key update this sentence. So if you work with absurds, make sure that you work with unique keys on the database level, because with this case, you make the database work. So MySQL or whatever database you use needs to know what are the unique keys. If you want to find more tips about Eloquent like this one, you can check out one of my courses about Eloquent. One of them is about Eloquent performance. Other one is how to structure databases. And then there's older one, but still relevant Eloquent expert level. Or you can get all the 23 of my courses by subscribing to yearly membership. And then you don't miss any new courses. Like for example, in November, just now I released a new course about GraphQL. So go to laravelDaily.teachable.com to sign up and see you guys in another video.